Okay guys, what we have here is a Vortex Supercharger. This particular unit is a V2 unit. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to show you what it sounds like. Not happening. That's what it sounds like. That's bad. This is what it's supposed to sound like. Nice and smooth. So we're going to be rebuilding this unit here. We open it up. Here you have the internals of another V1, which we'll be rebuilding later. This one was a little bit severe, so I haven't gotten a chance to rebuild it. We're going to open this up first. I'm going to show you how to open this up. Remove all the bolts here. You're going to need to use an Allen key. Remove all the bolts. What we have here is a bearing kit. This is a high-end bearing kit. The EB5, uh, EBC5 bearing kit is good for, for uh, 59,000 RPM. It's going to be heavy. This guy was running a small pulley, and because he was running it so small, he was boosting so much, doing so much damage, that he ended up wrecking this. I have a feeling that he just ran it low on oil. But look, no one ever tells you the real truth, eh? So this is the bearing kit for this this kit right here. We have another bearing kit here for another blower we're going to use. This is a smaller bearing kit. This is good for around 45 to 49,000 uh, RPM. We'll be using that on another uh, on a V2. So start off, take all of these bolts off here. That's the first thing we're going to do. Remove it, open up the blower. So what you want to do here, <coughs> while you have the blower in your hands, you want to take your hand, your dead blow hammer, and you want to whack it. Let's see if I can put this you can see me do it. You want to grab it like this, whack it till it opens, comes apart. And once it's apart, take the cover over. You can see where these fall, these claws are in right there. If you can see that. There's the blower, now it's open. So as you can see in this case, this blower here, it's that bearing in there, the high speed bearing inside. This one's okay. The high speed bearing on the inside. That one took a dump. And nine times out of ten, that's the one that fucking takes a beating. So, it's that one there. You can see the, the play that it's got also. Okay. What you should do is remove this bolt anyway first, but I like to open and inspect them. This bolt needs to come off now. This bolt needs to come off right here. So how do you like them apples? There you go. Both bearings brand new. Both bearings <coughs> on the shack. <coughs> Excuse me. We're ready to rock and roll. Okay, so there you go. There's the new uh, the new seal installed. There's the old one. When you popped it off, <coughs> I actually found a, uh, a tool for uh, priming a Ford small block. Actually, this is the tool that you use. You put in the um, You've got the actual shaft to prime the fuel, the actual pump. And this goes on a uh, on a Ford, right? And this sits right on top there. What you do is you prime it, and that worked perfect for this seal here. I'll actually show you. I have a motor here in the front that I'm assembling right now, so I'm going to show you. There's some more Vortex. Here's our shop, by the way. This is our shop. And here's the motor I'm putting together right here. And you can see this tool right here. Like I said, it's the prime oil pump. So what you do is this uh, this tool spits right here like this, and this aluminum piece right here. See how it sits right on the. Uh, for the distributor, the opening for the distributor, it sits right there. Then you pop this through here, and you prime, uh, and you can prime the uh, the pump. The shaft is right in the, when it's in there, and you prime the pump with the drill. So that's what we're using here. Here's a. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys. How I'm putting together a 347 here for a guy, and here's the setup here, the heads. I'm gonna do another video and show you that stuff as well. But uh, like I said, here's the shop. You guys like the shop? You got a couple of trophies. Yeah, five or six. These here are my brakes, actually. These are my brake kits, actually. This is Johnsy. This is John's special equipment. This is my stuff here. I sourced the uh, the calipers uh, overseas, bring them in, make a kit. I've got two types of uh, rotors, 14-inch rotors, two pieces, and I've got the one-piece 13s or the one-piece 14-inch uh, rotors. And I have uh, kits for all the uh, all the Mustangs from '87 all the way up to 2009. I've got kits for those. Working on the Corvette right now, and working also on the uh, the LX cars, the Chrysler stuff. A lot of people want these uh, these brake kits. So, I mean, you guys want to brake it? I can't go wrong with this. There also, as far as a lot of people are confused as far as what the SQ means. You see this right here? This blower right here 
is an SQ version, okay? It's a helical cut gear. If you see the gears right here, they're helical cut, they're cut sideways or laterally. Here's the <coughs> the gears on a, a regular V1S type blower, okay? See right here? These are straight cut gears. So you can see the difference right there. This is quiet, this is loud. Just side note, you want to see another blower I gotta put back together. So that's the difference between the two. Yeah, as you can see here, we've put the um, the silicone up on the in the blower. Silicone's put. We're gonna put the cover back on. The impeller's still not put all the way through, but don't worry. When we put the cover on, we're gonna put the impeller through. So that's what you want to do right there. You want to get that silicone on. You're gonna get the the, the cover that goes right on here. Okay. I'm gonna place that on. You put some screws down. You make sure the silicone's there proper. Again, guys, the most important thing here now, you want to make sure that there's no play right here. See that right there? You don't want any play in this right here. You want it to spin freely. You can hear it. That brand new bearings. <coughs> of course you can hear it. No play. You want everything beautiful. All right, bro, so there you go. Done. Rebuilt completely. Put back together. There's your impeller. Back the way it's supposed to be. Spins freely, everything looks mint. Put the camera down so it does even better. It looks just fine. I guess you can see the impeller. There you go. Listen carefully. You want to make sure there's no touching. There's touching, what you're going to do is you're going to take off the bolts behind here. If there, you hear it touch a little, you remove these bolts, these bolts here, and what you're going to do is play with the volume a bit <coughs> to make sure that it's not touching at all. Okay, you may have a little bit of a clearance to do. Okay, but this one's just fine, so this one's ready to go back to the customer. He got one of these aftermarket pulleys from some company, I don't know who. See, it's blue. This is not a Vortec pulley. This is, Vortec doesn't supply these. This somebody made this for him. And you got to be careful who you buy pulleys from because this right here does not does not machine well. Doesn't fit real well. It sits, but it's not the craziest pulley. When I, I had to give me a hard time taking it off. So <coughs> you want to make sure you have a good pulley from a brand name, a good brand name uh, manufacturer. Okay. So there you go, homies. That's ready to rock and roll. Hope you enjoyed our video.